guys, welcome back to another video with Jermaine Man Smooth Mark. In today's video, I'm showing you guys this absolutely amazing Minecraft mod that actually adds instant houses into your Minecraft, and the name of this mod is Instant House. So it's basically a house in a box, which is freaking awesome, guys. You don't have to do any building or nothing, but I am being joined by my sidekick today, my wolf slash dog. And I'm not for sure why he's sad. He seems to be sad. Maybe because I got him setting. So let's just put him up and go on your way. You better not eat any of them pigs. You better not eat my pig friend over there. You got that? Don't eat him. Don't eat him. That's why I had to make you set down last time. Oh my god, oh my god. Is he going after him? Oh, I don't think he's going after him. I think my pig friend might be safe for now, guys. Alright, guys. Right here are some of the houses. I'm just going to show you one house at a time. And I'm going to show you guys the crafting recipe. So you will need sandstone. You also need a touch. You just need all your basic uh, tools and weapons and stuff. Basically, this is all going to reflect on what the house looks like and what the house actually has inside it. So, if you're crafting with crafting tables and chests and all that kind of stuff, that's more than likely what's going to be inside this house. And I really like this house, guys. This is one of the most simple um, crafting recipes. You don't really need a whole lot to craft this house. So it's pretty cool, and it would just completely pack your inventory if he was trying to pack all the stuff to actually build that house. But right here's a more complex one, and what you're going to need for this is chest, fence, pressure plate, sign, saddle, hay bale, oak wood. You're just going to need all your essentials, guys. So let's head over and actually spawn this, and there's something that you can do that's really cool. If you spawn it close by, you can actually connect them. And that looks really cool, guys. I really like the way that looks. And like I said, it really reflects and all. They give you your saddle and your sign because there's obviously no way they could put that into the house. So they just put it in the chest, which is pretty cool. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, guys. I do not think it's supposed to be like that. I don't think that's supposed to be water right there. But it is kind of glitchy when you spawn them together. But still, it looks really cool. And it's totally worth it. But right here is the trading post. And what you're going to need for this is wood half slabs wood blocks and you're also going to need an emerald which is going to be pretty hard to get guys but it's totally worth it so let's go ahead and see what this guy wants to pray and you can also spawn these buildings in the water just like that which is pretty cool he's about to brown looks like he's about to brown are you afraid are you afraid i'll get you out if you give me something good Really? A flint and steel? I'm about to save you from drowning and all you have for me is a flint and steel? Wow, what a cheap, cheap, cheap Fredo, man. I better just run off. Uh, right here is a mine shaft, which is pretty cool. You're going to need cobblestone, two iron ingots, a diamond, and three rattles. And trust me, guys, it's totally worth it. It is epic. So let's go ahead and try to spawn this on top of the trading post. And right there it is, guys. And as you can see, it's epic. It also has this little booby trap. If you go past it, I believe it actually shoots you. But you can get the bread. I don't even know why it has a gasp tear in it. I'm not really sure why that is. But right there's the trap, guys. It actually hits you. It don't really hurt you at all. But it does hit you. I think it's just to, like, knock you out of your minecart. But that is still epic, guys. That just looks so freaking epic. Alright guys, right here's the wooden house, which is really simple. This is probably the most simple one you can actually make this in the cobblestone. There's also a pool, which is pretty epic as well, guys. So let's go ahead and check out all these houses. And it won't let me see the crafting recipe. Right there's the crafting recipe, guys. All you need is about four wood blocks, a torch, a bed, a furnace, and a crafting table, and a chest. Now, trust me, guys, it's totally worth it because you're going to get all your stuff back in more, guys. And in order to make the cobblestone house, you're going to need just basically the same stuff just with cobblestone. And in order to make this epic pool, you're going to need five buckets of water. And you're also going to need four blocks of cobblestone, which is pretty easy to make, too, guys. These are really simple to make, guys. And look at that house. That just looks so amazing. And it's just basically got everything you need right here. This is just like a little survival house. So this is like what you would have when you very first start off in Minecraft. But if you want to spruce it up a little bit, then you can actually add a house onto the back and expand it. 
which is pretty cool guys you're just gonna have to maybe have some extra wood to actually do that and wow that looks amazing how I just spawned that one right there next to it let's put the pool what what just happened with that pool I'm not for sure what happened with that pool guys but right here this thing is deep this is a really deep pool guys and you might want to keep your dog away just so he don't drown but it is still pretty epic you could probably turn this into like a well if you want it to it looks more like a well than it does a pool but it's still pretty cool guys but you also have this epic brick house you also have a tent which is pretty cool you also have this epic pre house a mob trap you also have a state i think i already checked that one out you also have a cobblestone pill box i'm not really sure what that is guys but it seems pretty cool I think I've already checked that one out. So let's go ahead and spawn all of these after I show you guys the recipes. But it's basically the same as the other one. You just change it to brick instead of cobblestone. The tent's really cool because it actually takes four blocks of wool, a chest. It's basically all the same, but you change it to wool. Um, they're keeping it simple. They also have a block of iron. You're going to need wood. You're also going to need another block of iron, a chest, a torch, a bed. A crafting table and a furnace which is kind of hard to make guys but they're going to give you something really interesting to make this one you're going to need two bones two gunpowders fur um glowstone and a diamond which is that's a lot that actually takes a lot guys but to make this one it's just simple i think i've already checked this one out though guys and in order to make this one you're going to need mossy stone a bed mossy stone furnace torch crafting table oak wood chest oak wood that's what you're going to need in order to make that one guys in order to make this one just all that stuff which is pretty easy pretty simple to get but let's go ahead and spawn this house and let's see what it looks like when it's combined and wow it just like knocked that one house completely out and then the tent comes in and knocks it out that looks pretty cool that looks epic i wish i could have got it to spawn like right between the wood and right between the brick house that would have been cool it would have been a brick and wood sandwich house which would have been epic guys but this is they all just basically look the same uh the real cool ones is like the tent and the free house and those are the ones that i really like i'd probably have to say my favorite one out of all of them is probably this free house because of how epic it is because they got a ladder going all the way up guys if you go all the way up the free and then you got to take these staircases all the way up. And then right here's your bed, your chest, and everything. You got this absolutely amazing view. I'm probably going to have to keep my dog out of this house because he's afraid to poop on the floor or something. I don't want to clean it up. But they also give you a bunch of iron tools. So it's totally worth it by putting the blocks of iron in there because you actually get them back just in tools. So you just save your iron and actually make iron blocks. Then you actually get all your iron back just in tools. But... Let's go ahead and try to spawn another free house inside this free house. That would be epic. If we could spawn this and whoa. That just like took us up a whole nother level guys. Uh, let's actually head down and see what that looks like. And it's a long ways down guys. They was not fooling around when they made this. So let's go ahead and head on out. And let's just look at the view. This is going to look absolutely amazing. Wow. I think I can see my dog up there. Oh no don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, no. No, he was right beside me the whole time. Wow, I thought he was up there, but obviously he wasn't. <laughs> but right here's the mob one. And I'm not really for sure what this is, guys. Um, I don't even know how to get in. I don't think there's a way to get in. So it's just like a mob trap. I'm not really for sure. Maybe if you, like, hit at this, like, buy one of your friends and, like, trap him inside the place and you'd be in there with a bunch of mobs. I'm not really for sure what's going on with that, guys. I already showed you guys this one, but I'll show it to you guys again because this place looks absolutely amazing, guys. If you have some animals and they're on the run, they want it, you're probably going to need a house to keep them in. And this is the perfect house to actually keep all your animals in so the mobs don't attack or anything. And this is the perfect house for you to stay in. This house looks absolutely amazing, guys. I would have to say this is probably the nicest house other than the free house. I really like the free house. But if you built this in the top of the free house, that would be really cool, guys. And that's what I love about this mod is you can actually combine different houses together. But let me know what you...
guys think about this mod down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.